Now, White is hurt for the Seminoles. Let's go back. I mentioned that Brett Perriman threw a block. Arabia was too good a block. Quarterback Testaverde is going to fake the sweep. Now, Perriman comes down here and throws a block, but it looks like he might have been pulled down. Let's take a look and see. He makes a good fake on the sweep. Fakes the entire Florida State Seminole right defensive side. Now, watch Perriman right there. <laughs> Down goes a defender. I don't know. It looks like a two-point takedown to me. <laughs> Whatever, folks. It worked. Now, the personal foul penalty against the Seminoles brings the ball back to the 27-yard line. A very costly 15 yards. And because it was a dead ball foul, it is first and 25. fake. Willis throws complete on first down. He goes to the fullback. Coming out of the backfield, Tanner Holloman. Rod Carter, the outside linebacker, 91, had him one-on-one -on -one as he released. But this will leave them second and 22. Hardly worth the risk to throw the ball for three or four yards. The coverage was there. You want to throw the ball upfield, you got big yardage. lineman comes through and buries the fullback on that play. Cilio does a great job. 93, right there, comes down to the inside. The trapper is knocked off and just pulverizes Holloman. Third and 22. Miami goes to five defensive backs. it outside to Holloman and he slips down at the 34 and Florida State is forced to punt. It was well executed. They faked the draw it held all the defense and then they quick screen the ball. Watch him put it in there like the draw play. They fake it well then dump the ball off to Holloman out here but he slips and falls down. He could have picked up some yardage but he would not have gotten the first down. David Kentai goes deep and they came after him and he boomed a beauty. He's a fine punter. And Kentai is down at the 16-yard line. Boy, John Parks did a number on him. A 50-yard punt and Parks slams him down right there. Picture book stuff right here. Bang. Oh. Tough way. Mm. Move it right back. This Heisman Trophy moment is brought to you by Kodak. The nation's service academies have produced five Heisman Trophy winners. The legendary Blanchard and Davis from West Point, followed in 1958 by Pete Dawkins. Two years later, it was midshipman Joe Bellino from Navy. The best known Mitty, Roger Stavak, ranks the Heisman above all other awards. I've always really been proud of, you know, winning the Heisman Trophy, and it, it, it does carry some responsibility. When I'm introduced today, even after, a, you know, a professional career of 11 years in Super Bowls, it, it's still a former Heisman Trophy winner. Introducing Kodakolor VRG Film. Realistic color and print film is here. Coda Color VRG. The defensive unit of Florida State, and they must answer the challenge on the surge. Miami leading by a point, and they run Heisman on first down. Paul McGowan, 38, stepping up in there defensively along with several of his teammates. So if they can hold right here and force 
Miami to punt or get a turnover, then spirits would rise. But the Testaverde and the Canes go the long way this time. And this game could break wide open. That's the 13th time that they have run on first down, Brent. It changes their game plan. Testaverde will throw on second and eight. There's a penalty flag down, almost intercepted. But there is a marker down. Felton Hayes, 46. Outside linebacker, drop back in his zone. This is not a sharp performance by the Canes here this afternoon. They were favored by two touchdowns. Right now they are battling for their lives. After having won their first seven games, they are ranked number one in the land. Well, that could have been a big turnover there. I'm not so sure I would have taken that five-yard penalty, Brent. I think I would have taken that down. I think the down was more important. Look at here. They're trying to switch defenses. They're going to have people on and off the field. And Williams goes nowhere, but that's and face mask. Eric Hayes reached in and grabbed mask instead of Jersey and a costly penalty against Florida State. There's a ground level view of it. Oh, there's the mask. Oh, gosh. That's let's a bad see, one. Let's see whether or not he gives them the big penalty or the five. It's the big one. And a first down for Miami near the 30-yard line. They're doing a lot of substituting. The Seminoles are defensively trying to get the right personnel in. Bobby Bowden upset with the officials. Wants an explanation. Now he's got it. He'll go back to the headset on that far side. On first down, Highsmith out to the 32-yard line. And Fred Jones, 55, who has been relatively quiet here this afternoon, stepped in there and hit him. Seminoles are setting a pattern. First down, run. First down, run. You mean the, uh, the Canes? I'm sorry, the Canes are. But uh, the Seminoles have done a good job in, in stopping the run. Brian Blades and Irvin go to Testaverde's left. Highsmith flares out. Blades incomplete. Great defensive play by Eric Williams, number 17. Eric w Williams did a nice job, number 17. His timing was beautiful. His response to the ball while it was in the air. Watch here as he steps right inside and bats that ball away. And that ball was right on, on the money again, the Blades. But Eric Williams, good defensive play, right cornerback. Now there is the injured thumb that has put the Seminoles at an extreme disadvantage. Quarterback Danny McManus on a fake field goal had a helmet press up against it. Not fractured, but he's out for this game. Severely swollen. And on third down, Testaverde intended for his tight end. And there is a penalty marker down. And that was Martin Mayhew, who will be called for pass interference, number 32. Again, it was man-to-man -man coverage with two deep. Looked like pretty good coverage overall, but the flag was thrown right at the last second. Bowden again, furious. He threw the headset. Now the hat goes down. Let's see if we can see it. You'll see man-to-man -man coverage underneath. At the last second, it's all right here. Let's see. I don't know where he called. He called that interference. I think that's a thin call. I don't think it's interference. Couldn't see it, certainly, from that vantage point. The chain is not yet completely moved. Now an offensive tackle jumps offside. That was Scott Proven who moved. And it's getting a touch sloppy here in the Orange Bowl. Era, take us back to that interference call. All right, let's see if we roll it here. We'll roll it forward here and get right to the point where we can show 
Here's the contact right there. But that's all right as long as he stays in front and the ball's not in the air. Now, let's see. He's in front of him. Now, I can't tell whether or not there was any contact. Uh, there's the flag there. Era, there might have been a hand in the back. From up here when I saw it live, I thought there might have been pushing there at the last moment. Testaverde back on first down, swings to Highsmith. Highsmith cannot cut away from four defenders who cut him off. Alfonso Williams, 26, a strong safety, coming up to press. Well, the defense has played well. They've had some bad breaks in there. They had that face mask call. They've had that in pass interference. And now they have forced them into a second down and 15 or 16 yards. Loudon hoping that the defense can hold on. He's been upset with the officiating here in the second half. Irvin slotted to the right. Testaverde rolling in that direction. Highsmith underneath. Incomplete. He threw the ball too far in front of him. And he continues to be frustrated with this afternoon. That time Jones, number 55, was beaten. They were in the two deep zone with the five men underneath playing man. Jones, 55, was beaten. Vinny missed him and he was mad at himself for having missed him because he had him wide open. And we remember that Miami has a snap problem here this afternoon in punting situations. This is third and 18. This is a big play as Testaverde, after throwing the incompletion, says, I had him wide open. Why well, couldn't I deliver? It was only 11 of 22 today for 130 yards, one touchdown and an interception. Under pressure, stepped up away from it. Open man was Perriman, and dropping back again was Eric Williams, 17. Brent, I think with a quarterback problem that the Seminoles have, I believe Bobby Bowden's going to try to go after this because he knows that he's limited in what he can do offensively with McManus out of there. Let's see if they go after this one and really try to get it. They did get one earlier, and if there's any kind of a snap that hits that ground, they can get to it. They've got 10 of them up there. McGee's the center. A low snap. Beagles comes up and does get it off quickly. Good job by the punter in that situation. Sanders returning. Slips free. Great return to the 45. What a good-looking athlete he is. And the Seminoles will come out right there. A 34-yard punt and a 21-yard return. There is a hurricane player down at the 35-yard line, slowly getting up. He's going to be okay. Boy, that Deion Sanders is something, isn't he? Boy, what a good-looking athlete. Oh. That's Bernard Clark, number 57. He's the backup middle linebacker on those special teams. He'll come off the field. And, of course, still ahead of us here this afternoon, we've got the season premiere of the NBA on CBS. Sarah? Look at these moves by Deion Sanders. Bobby Bowden said he is. He can play any position for him. And he's been sensational as a punt returner this afternoon as well as a cornerback. I mentioned the NBA, and that'll be the Los Angeles Lakers and the Houston Rockets when we finish here. That's next. First and ten for Willis and the Seminoles. Jerome Brown was in. Incomplete. The All-American defensive lineman broke through his block that time and pressured the freshman quarterback, Peter Tom Willis. And it's going to be hard going for Bowden's offense. Well, Brent, I think they were trying to hit a quick screen out to the left. The linemen were sliding over, but the timing was off, the coverage was there, and they just didn't have a chance to do anything. Floyd is the tailback. the hurricane defense that only gave up 256 yards and only 99 a game rushing they're starting to settle in granted it's awful tough without your top quarterback but this defense only gives 11.9 points per game they've already given 20 but they're starting to really tighten up they're only three of ten on third down against this 
defense. And this is third and 12. Incomplete. Batted away by George Myra Jr., number 45. And now Bowden wants interference called the other way. He said, I want consistency. Why does it go that way and not our way? What's the difference? You tell me now. You saw that. Was there pushing behind? Come on. <laughs> you drop it on them. Let's get it for me. Just give me the same call you gave him, all right? That was verbatim, Brent. Absolutely <laughs> verbatim. Here it is. Let's see whether Myra makes a great play or whether or not there is interference. Well, it's close. He made contact just as a very right there. Gets it off under pressure. The Canes were coming at that point. at the 25 and Florida State saying that Miami touched it but the officials say no no they didn't they let the ball bounce free it'll be Miami's ball when you come back 437 in the third 31 yard punt is down at the Miami 25 balance it is stability based on planned diversity Rockwell International's continuous growth results from a balance of businesses Outstanding performance in electronics, aerospace, automotive, industrial automation, and general industries. Rockwell International, down-to-earth management and opportunities as limitless as space. Hey, want to have some fun? I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. The 1987 Toyota MR2. 16 valve, two seater. I got a brand new MR2, and now I'm gonna have some fun. Finally, sports car fun made affordable the Toyota MR2. Going to Kansas City. The one for fun. Who could ask for anything more? Toyota. North Carolina takes on a Clemson team with players who believe in Razzle Dazzle and fans who believe in Razzmatazz or see Stanford meet UCLA next Saturday on CBS Sports. Jerome Brown is fierce when he turns it loose and watch the below he delivers there to the freshman quarterback. It was up a touch high, however. You might have called roughing the passer in that situation, too. It is first and 10 for Testaverde. 21-20. He leads Florida State. Bratton is in the game. They fake to him. He gets it off. Intercepted. Number 16, Sanders. Picks one off for the Seminoles. He is smacked down from behind right there. Boy, what a tackle by Blades. Now some words are exchanged. That was Brian Blades, who came back on Tracy Sanders and slammed him down. But there's the turnover that Bowden needs. Again, it was not a good throw by Vinny. I don't know who he was throwing it to. He waits and waits and finally, just before he gets hit, I don't know whether he was... He apparently did not see that's Alfredo Roberts, number 87, with his back to him. And, of course, the, the ball was thrown poorly. Apparently did not see the defender. The only thing, conclusion I can come to because he's too good a passer to throw it to Tracy Sanders. Now Willis with first down in his offensive line jumps across the line of scrimmage. And they'll be penalized, and they continue to make damaging mistakes. Let's go downstairs to John Dockery. John? Thank you, Brent. Remember before the game, they were concerned about Jerome Brown being in condition. He hasn't played much in the last month. Well, I asked him before, he said his condition's fine, but that he has now has two turf toes, but he was okay. Also, Coach Davis, the defensive line coach, tell him to freelance, take either side of the center, do your thing, and go after the quarterback, and it seems to be working. Interesting to watch him on this series, number 98. Now back to you. Brent. All right. We'll be taking a look at him. They pitch to Floyd. And Floyd is tripped up by number 99. That's Winston Moss. Moss, strong side linebacker. Big guy. 6'3", 236. Number three tackler on the Hurricane team with 63 involvements. Now you see Benny knows that he made a bad throw. But he's the same guy that took him down for the touchdown that put him in the lead 21-20. Second and 16. Seminoles break the huddle. Rolling 
to the left. Throwing in underneath the Carter, the tight end. He's inside the 35, but they have to get to the 26 for a first down. So this will be a third down play coming up. This is a good sprint out here. There's a double team on Jerome. They got him that time. Cumberland got him. And there's a good throw right there. Excellent throw. Now we get an isolated look right here as these two men will take Jerome Brown on right there. Cumberland right there, 300 pounds. He's doing the job on him there. Here comes third and seven. Dexter Carter, number 13, checks in as an extra wide receiver. Quick screen. And they get it outside to Holloman, the fullback, first down. Great lunge there to the 25-yard line. And that gives the Seminoles a first down on that third down situation. This is well executed here. It's a quick fake the draw. Come back to the outside. Watch here. Fakes a little draw play in there. Now he gets the quick screen. I thought Myron, number 45, might get to him here. But he gets to the corner and gets the first down before Myra can stop him. And they've got a first down at the 25-yard line. And again, a play we have not seen is any kind of an end around or a reverse. They fake it on first down. Willis goes for the touchdown. Incomplete. Gainer have his hands on that ball. It looked, it's on the far corner. It looked like he was going to make a sensational catch. Benny Blades, 36. Took Gainer into the corner of the end zone. They just went right up the sideline here. And you'll watch Baines come over. I'm sorry, uh, Benny Blades, who can run a 4.35, 40, recover. Now, let's see, he goes up, had his hands on the ball, but Blades did a nice job of defense. Here's another shot right there going up. He's got, Gainer's got his hands up there on the ball. And there is the job by Blades knocking it away. Great work. Carter lines up at tailback. They pitch it to him. No running room. Number 94 leads the assault, Greg Mark. Great play by Mark. Also took him back far enough that it might be a, it'll be a 50-yard field goal if they don't make anything on this next play. See here, just a pick sweep, but there's no chance with the penetration that comes here. There's Mark number 94, right up in his face there. No chance. And also uh, a loss that could make the difference in the field goal opportunity that could give him the lead. Here's Carter again. He gets inside the 30-yard line. Coaching staff will send Schmidt onto the field. Randy Shannon. And he will attempt the field goal. About a 46 yarder, I think, Brent. See where he marks it down. Schmidt has kicked two already here this afternoon for the Seminoles. They trail it by a point or inside of the one minute mark. It'll be Barry putting it down. An excellent kicker. It's good. Boy, did he pop that ball. A 45-yard field goal by Derek Schmidt moves Bobby Bowden Seminoles back into the lead here, 23 to 21. Brent, he could have had another 15, 20 yards that time he would have made it. Tell you something else that impressed me about him. The holder did not get it down perfectly. And Schmidt held off and waited for his placement and then whacked it through the uprights. One other very important thing, within 43 seconds, the Hurricanes will get the wind and it has picked up considerably since the beginning of this football game. Let's present this week's Toyota Leadership Awards to those players who have been singled out by the coaching and faculty staff for outstanding performance in the areas of team contributions, academics, and citizenship. And today's winners are David Palmer from Florida State. David is a junior pre-med major. He has a 3.4 grade point average. And 
Bill Hawkins from Miami. He's a junior finance major with a 3.2 grade point average from nearby Hollywood, Florida. And Toyota will donate a check in the amount of $1,000 to each of the school's general scholarship funds. And congratulations to both of those student athletes here this afternoon. The ball is on the tee for Schmidt. Florida State leading number one. He whacks it in the direction of J.C. Penny. He'll come out. Trying to swing outside. And he is down at the 14-yard line. Martin Mayhew, 32, just would not yield on that special team. He stayed in his alley, cut him off, and would not let him get to the outside. So later, after this action, we'll take you out to Houston. Dick Stockton and Tommy Heinsohn will be there for the Lakers and the Rockets. Oh, what a great Western Conference final they waged last year. And in tomorrow at 12.30 Eastern time, we'll have the NFL today coming your way. Is there too much violence in NFL football? We'll take a look at that. The Giants' dilemma tomorrow is one word. Make it two words. Dallas Cowboys. First and ten. Hand off to Bratton. Bratton powers out beyond the 20-yard line. Felton Hayes tripped him up, number 46. So it'll be second down for Testaverde, who has been struggling, and Bobby Bowden doing it with Mears and a freshman quarterback here this afternoon. Well, Benny will be picking up the wind in this fourth period. It'll be very important, but they do not have very good field position at this stage. They'll be content down here and now they will have the wind at their backs we'll be back after this message and a word from your local station who says you can't have 100 percent imported hops and a less filling beer old world aging and a less filling beer Smooth, super premium taste. And a less filling beer. Michelob Light. The best of both worlds. Michelob Light. Oh, yes, you can. Have it all. Manage. To handle or direct with skill. Rockwell International Management stimulates the work of its 120,000 employees. One in six a scientist or engineer. Their elegant solutions to customer needs make Rockwell a world leader. Rockwell International. Managing high technology for global markets. This is CBS. This season, don't settle for just any seat. Come to Braun Motor Car Company. We have some special seats for luxury fans, sports fans, fun fans, off-to-work fans, family fans. And we have a whole lot of great ways to top off the game. Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, BMW, Audi, Volkswagen. Yes, you can at Braun Motor Cars. I was one of the toughest drill instructors in the U.S. Marine Corps. I marched my men through mud, snow, and rain. And after I turned those cream pops into Marines, I treated myself to the best beer in the U.S. of A. Miller Lite. Lite's less filling. And this taste makes me proud to be an American. As for you guys out there who spent 10 of the toughest weeks of your lives with me, I got one thing to say. How come you don't write? We're proud to say there's only one light beer. Miller Lite. Channel 6, WCTV, Thomasville, Tallahassee, and Monticello. CBS Sports presents college football, sponsored by Toyota, builder of tough, powerful, reliable trucks, Toyota. Apple Computer, makers of the Apple II, the educated choice in personal computing. And by the people who make glass containers, naturally. Fifteen minutes to stay number one. Second and four for the Hurricanes. Plenty of time. With the wind at his back, he hits his tight end, number 87. That was Alfredo Roberts. A 
24-yard gain, and era. just as you said going into commercial, the wind was going to be a factor in the final 15 minutes. There's no question about it, and Vinny has it now. He scrambled around there, had plenty of time. You give him that kind of time, he's going to complete passes. This same guy a year ago against this same team was sacked seven times, got off of his back, and took the Hurricanes to a win. Testaverde brings them to the line of scrimmage with this first down. Again, plenty of time, but still not enough. Great coverage in the secondary, and finally the nose man, Harp, came free to make the stop. But credit the defensive backs. They were all over his receivers that time. Let's go downstairs now for a few more thoughts on this fourth quarter. Here's John Dockery, John. Thank you, Brent. My thought is this, if Vinny better put some points on the board because Winston Moss, the only starter left over from that national championship team, is out with a hamstring. He's going to try to go, but he was limping severely along the sideline. I doubt if he'll be able to go back at strong side linebacker. And, of course, he's a big play guy for the Hurricanes. Now back to you. That was the fifth sack registered against Testaverde by Florida State. Over the middle, complete to Highsmith. Short of the first down. Eric Williams, 17, tackles him. But he is very close. Well, you want to see how strong an arm Vinny Testaverde has. That time he was backing away, and it looked like he was off balance. Watch here as he just plays arm, doesn't step at all, bang -o. No movement of the feet, all arm, and right to Alonzo Highsmith. That, was, that showed some real arm strength. Third and two. Ball is at the 47-yard line. A tight running formation with two tight ends and Williams for the first down. He followed the left side of that offensive line, Alekna and Maddox. And let's go to New York and Jim Nance. Jim. All right, Brent, at halftime, we told everyone that Columbia is in the unusual position of leading a football game. Here, Dan Bowditch breaks away for the Lions and goes in for the score, and Columbia could be breaking their 30-game winless streak. Let's go back to Brent and Era. It is a first and 10. The ball is at the 42-yard line. Verde with that straight back drop. Incomplete. He wanted Irvin. Well, Benny is mad at himself. He had him open. But he's really not stepping with his foot, Brent. He's just throwing all with his arm. And in case you did not join us, Benny Testaverde came into this game with an injured instep. He is wearing a special protective pad on the top of the right foot high top shoe the low cut shoe is there on the left foot and it has affected him he was shaken up in the first half timeout has been called and Florida State will be left with only one timeout and we'll be right back Lee Trevino, I'm looking out for number one. First, look for the compact trucks that are number one in sales. Toyota, look for the trucks that are number one in truck satisfaction. Toyota, look for the trucks that have the power. Toyota, and the payload. You guessed it, Toyota. And look out for guys who can sink a 20-foot putt with a number five tire. Who could ask for anything more? There's a time to think about life insurance, and State Farm is there. I'm State Farm agent Mike Callen. The biggest reasons young parents start thinking about life insurance are kids. Parents want someone who can explain life insurance and someone who knows how to listen, too, so it'll fit their needs. And as a family's needs grow and change, they want someone who will be there to keep that life insurance up to date. That's why they come to State Farm agents. And like a good neighbor. And that's why they stay. Kareem and the Lakers go out for revenge against the team that stunned them into playoff submission, the towering Rockets of Houston, the rematch on CBS Sports, next. Here in the Orange Bowl, we have 12 and a half minutes to play. 
Miami trailing Florida State. And this is a second and ten for Benny Testaverde and the Hurricanes. Ball is at the Seminole 42. For Blades, breaks free and he's out of bounds at the 20 yard line. That's a 22 yard game. Testaverde to Blades. Beautiful throw and a perfect throw against the double zone up the sideline. You come up to the, you'll see him come right up the sideline here and beat the defender. There he is. Now watch. The ball is perfectly thrown before the deep secondary guy who has a half of the field can get there. The perfect route against that defense. If Blades could have stayed in bounds for about half a step, he would have zipped into the end zone. Calling an audible at the line. For Blades, touchdown. right back and Testaverde hits Blades on the far sideline for 22 yards comes back with the touchdown Brent soon is and this is what he was doing is calling an audible he called him in man to man gonna go for the two points here they lead 27 23 and now Testaverde walks away while Time has been stopped down on the field, and Miami uses a timeout. Let's at the, the level, to look at this. He saw that he had a man-to-man, -man, and you see the crossing defenders are the receivers, and Blaze just goes down and breaks to the outside. If we have a top view of that. You'll be able to see this is what Vinny picked up. He saw the man-to-man -man coverage, automatically called the play, and the tough route that they ran against it, and Vinny put the ball right there. Here's a top shot of it right here. You'll see he catches a man to man. They go down and break out. And you'll see that they can't stand one on one. He goes down, breaks to the post, and breaks to the flag. And look at this pass thrown perfectly before the defender can get his hands on it. That was Eric Williams. Just didn't quite get there. During the timeout, they substituted tight ends. But Coach Jimmy Johnson and Testa Verde are conferring with the referee at the 20-yard line. Now Testaverde with that last touchdown pass has thrown 41 in his career here at Miami and that the school record breaking the one held by Bernie Kosar. Highsmith incomplete. He led him too much. Missed on the short ball. Miami leads Florida State 27-23, failing on the two-point conversion attempt with 12 and a half minutes to go here in Miami. Well, it was a perfectly executed touchdown play. They came back for the two points. You see Vinny there shaking his head. I just threw a strike against man-to-man -to -man for the touchdown, a hard throw to the flag. Now I can't hit a little bit of a little out pattern here. You'll see, here's that touchdown. You'll see he catches him in man-to-man -man here. And you'll see Blades will go down and break to the outside. He'll break here, and they can't cover him. Watch here. There's your man-to-man. -man. Blades goes in, gets his defender. Williams turned around. Well, he can't quite get there before the ball's there. Perfect route against that man-to-man -man coverage. The kickoff return team of Florida State scored on one shocker earlier in the game following a Miami touchdown. I will see if they come up with something after this scoring play to Brian Blades. The ball being put down by Mark Seeley. And Ross and Carter are deep for Bowden in the first half, in case you joined us late. Ross took one five yards deep, came out to the 10, threw the lateral cross field, and Carter took it 100 yards. That one goes.
goes out of bounds, and five yards will be marked off against the Hurricanes. Well, they'll reload on that one. Well, as I pointed out, Brent, that the, it's go, the Seminoles are going to have even an increasingly difficult chore in going into the wind because Testaverde had some problems going into the wind. But as soon as he found it behind him, he started to throw strikes. Um, Miami in the second half has registered 164 yards to Florida State's 16. All day long, the Goodyear blimp has hovered above the orange ball here and given us some splendid shots of the Miami skyline, the ever-expanding Miami skyline. And as soon as we finish here in Miami, we'll send you into Texas. Houston will be the scene. It'll be the Los Angeles Lakers and the Houston Rockets. The season premiere of the NBA on CBS this afternoon. 12.24 to go. It's 27-23. Miami with the lead over the Seminoles of Florida State. Ross. Slips free of another tackle. Boy, he's a son of a gun to bring down, isn't he, Coach? Well, he is between Ross and Sanders. Dion. They've got two great return people. Now the problem for the Seminoles is at quarterback. They have been forced to go with the freshman Peter Tom Willis ever since Danny McManus broke or at least injured a thumb. The x-rays were negative, so we don't know how severe the sprain is, but he injured a thumb on a fake field goal, and he has not been able to play since. Willis brings it to the line of scrimmage. Good fake. Great completion coming out of the backfield that time. It was Victor Floyd hitting for the first down. He is 8 of 12, and that was a 19-yard gain, and that gives him 71 yards. Oh, they make a great fake to the inside, and, of course, he comes right from this spot, right there, and he has enough time. He almost gets sacked. There's the trap fake, and you see him go around. That's Floyd coming around. There he is right in the seam, and... Willis throws a nice ball in there. That was a very fine pass. Eric, if Willis can pull the trigger, Bobby Bowden will give him the plays to work with. He's got some offensive mind. Deep drop underneath. Batted away. Great play by Jerome Brown, the All-American defensive lineman. He had the time, and he had the receiver open. At that time, Brown just knocks the ball down. There he is. You'll see the receiver come from your right. He delivers the ball. Looks like he's going to be open right there. But look at Brown knock that ball down. And Darren Holloman thought he had a reception. He wound up with empty. This is the play previously. After the ball is delivered to Floyd, he gets jumped on by one Danny Stubbs. It is hard going against this defense. line. It'll be short of the first down. Bubba McDowell, 48. Bringing him down. Sammy Smith was injured on the opening series, and he has not played since, even though he did put his uniform back on. Now, let's see what the Seminoles come up with. They've got third down about four. A tough call. for the Seminoles with 10.54 on that clock. Miami leading by four points. David Kintai set to return. Signals for the fair catch, but he's going to let it go. And the nose down it right about the seven-yard line. A 41-yard punt by Perry. We'll be right back to the Orange Bowl.
The clear, natural beauty of glass protects the taste of your wine, no matter how long you store it. So you know that the good wines that come in recyclable glass bottles come just as their maker intended. Brought to you by the people who make glass containers. Naturally. Hey, that was a great answer. Where'd you learn about computers? In the army. Uh, you were in the army? Yeah. And now they're helping pay your way through college. How come you know so much? How do you think I got here? Qualify for the GI Bill and the Army College Fund and earn $17,000 for college for only a two-year enlistment or $25,200 for a four-year enlistment. What you doing here? Airborne. You were airborne? Find your future in the army. You used to jump out of airplanes? Entrepreneur. One who assumes the risks of business. Rockwell International managers have the entrepreneurial freedom to move through the maze of business challenges. With advanced technologies and innovative quality products, Rockwell International entrepreneurs get results. Back in the Orange Bowl and a punt by Lewis Berry. We'll have the Hurricanes playing a little conservatively, you would think. Leading 27-23, I say think because you can never be too sure to test the verdict. He'll run Bratton. Bratton gets out beyond the 10-yard line. They must go to the 17 for a first down. Paul McGowan tackling Bratton. Bratton and Highsmith are in the backfield. Testaverde has backed away from his teammates to take the signal from the sideline on the play that offensive coordinator Gary Stevens has called upstairs. Got to be very careful down here. Hang on to the football. They don't want any turnovers. Here is Bratton short of the first down and the 15 yard line. So it will be a third and three with Kevin Grant 47 stopping Jimmy Johnson's tailback. See whether or not the Seminoles deploy into a goal line type defense to shut him down. If Vinny finds that he can pick a man on man man to man coverage and he may audible to it. Let's see what they're doing defensively. No they're not going into a goal line look. Testaverde uses a timeout. Only one timeout left for the Hurricanes and one for the Seminoles. We'll be right back for the last 925 in a moment. Hi, Andy. Ready for the history final? History final? Is that today? It sure is. Let me borrow your notes, will you? Hope you have your turn paper finished. <laughs> Wait, I've forgotten which room it's in. I'm here. Is this person's gonna kill you? Keeping up with schoolwork isn't easy. That's why the computer more kids learn on is Apple. I always thought that time was a measure of quality. Now they've got technology that can cut the time of aging beer to that. Bam! Instant beer. Not Coors. Coors ages their beer longer than any other major brewer. Almost twice as long. To age any beer longer, it gets smoother. More easy drink. More like Coors. Nope. Coors won't take shortcuts with time. Ah. Uh, Coors is the one. Maine, wilderness for all to enjoy. But does new development threaten these lands from being forever wild and free? The story tonight on the CBS Evening News with Bob Sheeper. Our CBS cameras will take you next to the summit in Houston, Texas, where will be the defending Western Conference champion Houston Rockets and Akeem the Dream Olajuwon, the changing of the guard at the center position in the West because he will be matched today against Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, beginning his 18th season with the Lakers, coming up right after our college football game here, and it's a good one between Florida State and Miami. 
We have 9.25 to go, 27-23, Miami with the lead. This is a third and three. Testaverde bringing them to the line of scrimmage. That's one on one on the off corners. He'll throw. There it is. He's got Urban. That's the first down. They you... tried to hide their coverage that time, Frank, but they couldn't. They had to show that they were coming in to a goal line look with one-on-one -on -one coverage here, one-on-one -on -one coverage there. Tested already picks it up, and of course the quick out does it. They'll just do it to you every time, and you can't cover one-on-one -on -one right there. There it is. Tested already puts it right there to Urban, and they got their first down. Irvin has caught five balls for 63 yards here this afternoon. Nine minutes on the clock, and now Testaverde with some breathing room. Now in the middle to Perriman. Perriman at midfield. From behind, inside the 45-yard line, Stan Shiver. Got a hand on him, or he might have gone the distance, but it was a 39-yard gain by Perriman, who injured a hand on the play. Watch him come in from the right side of your screen and watch, screen. watch that ball come in here. The velocity on that ball and right on the numbers of Perriman. And he comes up that right side, goes beyond Deion Sanders, number two, and finally is tripped up, but not until he's made a big game. Perriman right here as he breaks across. There's the ball. Look at that throw. That's a beautiful throw. Testaverde calls the audible on first down. They have lost Highsmith to an injury. Daryl Oliver has checked in at fullback. He hits Irvin inside the 35. Let's go downstairs to John Dockery. John? Thank you, Brennan. When Florida State gets the ball back, that man, number five, Chips Ferguson, will be the quarterback. Bobby Bowden came over to him moments ago and said a few words in his ear because when Willis came off the field last time, he talked about him getting the ball to the receiver too late. Willis was just sitting with his head down along the bench. So we will have a change at quarterback for Florida State, it appears. Now back to you, Brent. This is second down and four for Testaverde. In calling the play, even using a hand signal in case someone cannot hear. Drops back. Urban. It'll be down there at the seven-yard line. Testaverde to Irvin. 28 yards. They were in three deep zone that time, and he just picked them right between the two. This deep safety man, you'll see here, he'll come down and break right in. They'll walk into a three deep with these men involved in the coverage. And watch him split that zone. They'll just come right straight up the field, break to the inside, and look at the ball right there before the safety man can get over there. Perfect throw, great call, and great route. the Hurricanes slowly moving into command of this one. Six straight completions by Testaverde. A little inside handoff to Williams who busts inside the five and Paul McGowan brings him down Paul there. McGowan, it's been a very impressive drive by the Hurricanes. Started back on their own seven yard line after Bowden's punter Barry buried them down there. And that third and three was a key, key play on it. It would have been forced to a punting situation. But Benny hit him on an audible. Highsmith has checked back in on this second and goal. Williams runs behind him, and he is short as he tried to twist free. Boy, that Highsmith. Can he open a hole? He led the way through there. Bratton comes off the bench. This will be third and short. Bratton has the capability of diving up over the top. There is Williams trying to swing free and it was whistled dead. You have to watch for number five at third and short to come right over the top in this situation for Miami. There he goes. Thrown back at the goal line. The Seminoles were ready, and it will be fourth and goal. Jones and McGowan stood tall, the two linebackers. 
come right in at the goal line and they stood him up there. They would not yield and it is fourth and goal. What a great job defensively. You'll see Bratton dive right there, but you can see everybody in there. Looked like 40 Greg Newell was the key guy. Bowden's defense gave up a touchdown to Jimmy Johnson's Testaverde on a bootleg in an earlier situation. This, though, is fourth and goal. Oliver checks in. And he runs it. The second time that Benny Testaverde has taken the bootleg in. side then he put the ball on his hip and took it for six more great call and cox hits the extra point number one and in control now 34 23 over a game that an undermanned florida state team is Testaverde delivers the fake the ball in the other hand and he runs it in well we saw this same play once before in this ball game and Testaverde did the same thing it was just a different, different formation he fakes the hand to Bratton and here he walks into the end zone he knows he's got the corner Are you looking at it at ground level from the defense? Great fake. They're all going one way, and Benny's going the other. Miami leading by 11. And 5.20 to go. And a third quarterback getting ready for the Seminoles. Jim Ferguson, who lost his starting job to Danny McManus several weeks ago is due to come on. McManus suffered a hand injury on a fake field goal in the first half. Area, if there is any play in the whole season that Bobby Bowden would dearly love to have back, it's that fake field goal. Yes, when he tried to go for the fourth down and relatively long yards and started taking the three points, of course, there are a number of things that happened. I think he probably would like to have McMahon back. touchdown pass by the Wolfpack. Eric Kramer, their quarterback, pulls one out over South Carolina. And Auburn is still unbeaten, leading Florida and Nebraska on the comeback after last week's shocker. And SMU leading Texas A&M in the first quarter. And Ohio State doing it to Iowa. will not get it off because Dan Stubbs put a saddle on him and rode him to the ground. Well, when they front four knows if you're going to pass the football, they just turn themselves loose, and it's awful tough to keep them off. Moving quickly is Ferguson. 